So exercising for body fat loss. There's two types of exercise, aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You have anaerobic exercise where the energy is coming from the muscles and you're working the muscles predominantly. You've got aerobic exercise where your heart and your lungs, your cardiovascular system are providing you the energy to perform the exercise. Aerobic exercise involves the oxygenation of blood. The better you do it, the more fit you are. And it works the heart and the lungs, the engine of the body, the cardiovascular system. It requires you to work out at a rate of about 80% of your maximum heart rate for at least 15 minutes in order for you to improve your cardiovascular fitness. Examples of cardio exercise are running on a treadmill, cycling on a bike, using a cross trainer. Interestingly, circuits, circuit training with resistance. If you move quickly enough through your circuit, that is a cardiovascular exercise also, and classes. So what does it mean to work out at 80% of your maximum heart rate? Your maximum heart rate is calculated as 220 beats per minute minus your age. So if you took a 40 year old woman, her maximum heart rate is 220 minus 40, it's 180 beats per minute. If she wants to improve her cardiovascular fitness, she needs to work out at a rate of 144 beats per minute, which is 80% of her maximum heart rate. She needs to do that for about 15 minutes or more. And over time, she will improve her cardiovascular fitness. So how do you work out your heart rate when you're exercising? We can go to Argos, pay 30 euros and get a chest strap and watch monitor. Or you can do like the rest of us and basically judge on how tired you are. You'll know when you're working out at the right weight. Actually, many of the cardio machines have heart rate monitors built into them. The issue about cardio exercise is that it doesn't just burn fat. It actually burns quite a lot of muscle. When you burn muscle, which is active tissue, you reduce the amount of calories your body burns every day. And if you eat the same, you can actually put on weight. And also, cardio exercise only burns calories during the exercise. As soon as you stop you're finished. Unlike resistance exercise where you're working the muscles and afterwards your muscles repair, you increase your muscle tone and your body increases the amount of calories it burns each day. So cardio only burns calories while you exercise, whereas resistance training where you're improving your muscle tone, increasing the amount of active muscle tissue in your body, that causes your body to burn calories even when you're not in the gym and turns you into a calorie burning machine. And that's something to note. So anaerobic exercise, it's when you're working the muscles. Think of when you've lifted a heavy object. You can lift it a few yards and then you have to stop again because you've exhausted the muscles. Give it half a minute and you're good to go again. So it's all about moving against resistance to tone muscle. You can use gravity, so push-ups, sit-ups. You can use things like resistance bands or you can join a gym where you get access to equipment and machines that will specifically tone the muscles of the body. As you perform exercise against resistance, your body reacts by increasing your muscle tone and your muscles become more toned, more firm, and you add lean muscle tissue to your body. And in doing so, you actually increase your metabolism because the more lean tissue you have, tissue that burns calories, when you think about it, the more calories your body in totality burns. So toning increases your metabolism. One pound of muscle burns 75 calories per day. So if you can replace five pounds of body fat with five pounds of muscle, you become slimmer, leaner, stronger, more toned. Even though you weigh the same, you turn your body into a calorie burning machine. So heart rate and fat burn. Well, as we said, you have to work at quite a high heart rate to increase your cardiovascular fitness and you burn muscle probably more than fat. The good news is that in order to burn fat, you need to work at a lower heart rate, which is why walking, for instance, is better at burning fat than running. And resistance exercise achieves this lower heart rate. So less is more. People find that hard to believe, but less is more. So you can work out three times a week for 30 minutes a time and achieve exactly what you need to achieve to burn body fat through exercise. Use weight to lose weight. Lots of businesses have been developed on this concept. Classes, personal training is done in this way. It's how the celebrities achieve the bodies that they have. Let's talk about some muscle myths because a lot of people do not get the benefit of the gym, do not get the benefits of using weight to lose weight and to improve their bodies because they're afraid that if they lift a couple of weights, they're gonna become huge muscle bound behemoths. That's not how it works. It takes a lot of time to develop muscle. To get as big as that image that you have in your head that you're afraid of requires taking substances like steroids or hormones. Or For the rest of us, we just wanna to tone up, get a little bit more fit, stronger, leaner, and to turn our bodies into calorie burning machines. The second myth is that muscle does not turn into fat. Muscle and fat are completely different. They're completely separate substance. What happens in that anecdote or that mythical situation where people are saying, well, I know somebody and they were really muscly and they turned fat, is that they stopped exercising. They started eating crap again. And because they're burning less calories and consuming more calories, they put on weight. It's that simple. That's the only way that you can put on fat in the first place. So toning muscle. Well, muscles are attached to bones 
As they contract, they bring the bones closer together and they allow you to move. If you put resistance in the way of the movement, then the muscle becomes more toned, increases its lean muscle tissue to become stronger so that it can cope with that resistance in the future. That's how it works. So every muscle is essentially responsible for a different movement or involved in different movements. And so to tone muscle, you simply perform the movements that those muscles are responsible for, but against resistance. And by performing about 10 different movements with resistance, you can essentially hit all the muscles of the body and get what they call an all over body workout. But there's a right and a wrong way to do it. So why are people in the gym in great shape and some people who seem to be putting in a lot of effort not in great shape? Well, it comes down to three things. Resistance, repetition, and rate. So resistance, you must be using resistance which is heavy enough to challenge your muscles. And again, people are particularly afraid of developing muscle, they don't use the right resistance. And if you're using a lighter resistance, you'll go on forever. You won't tone the muscle at all. You may work your cardiovascular system, you may sweat, you may feel tired, but you won't tone muscle. You've got to use the right amount of weight to challenge your muscles so that you can only repeat a certain amount of repetitions without failing. You must exhaust the muscle if you want to tone. You've got to repeat, and this is repetition, you've got to repeat the exercise until muscle failure, until you can't do it anymore. The last two repetitions are the most important. That's where you tone. A lot of people will ask, well, how many repetitions do I do? And you might say 10. They go, okay, fine, 10. And they'll do 10 repetitions, but on a weight which is completely inappropriate, they won't exhaust the muscle and they'll get no results. They would be better off at home watching TV. If you don't complete that set of repetitions until failure, you will fail to get a result. And you need to learn the correct level of resistance that works best for you. We may show you on your induction, but within a couple of weeks, you may be stronger. And the resistance that we showed you on your induction day may be too light for you. It's up to you to take the lead and come to us and make sure that you're working out at the right level of resistance and increase the level of resistance over time because you will constantly get stronger and the trick is to keep your body challenged and constantly to increase the resistance so that you always fail at a certain amount of repetitions. And then you need to let the muscles repair. So you go home, you relax, and as you do throughout the day while you're sleeping, your body will be working away, burning more calories by the way, to increase your lean muscle tissue. Rate then, that's the third thing. In order for you to also get cardiovascularly fit, when performing these exercises one after the other, you should do so with minimal rest between the exercises and in doing so, you keep your heart rate elevated and you get cardiovascularly fit as well. So the optimal fat burning type of exercise and a perfect blend of cardio and resistance for max fat burning and increasing metabolic rate is circuit training. So with circuit training, you're performing those 10 exercises or so, one after the other at quite a fast pace. Each is performed to failure, but then you move quickly on to the next to keep your heart rate up. And you do so for about 30 minutes. So you should be able to get a circuit of about 10 exercises done two or three times in 30 minutes, depending on how fit you are. 90% of classes, if you think about it, are circuits. One exercise after the other, repeat it. All personal training works this way, if you think about it. You do one exercise after another, after another. And Tent Tone is our circuit program. So Tent Tone is what it says. 10 exercises to tone the body, an all over body workout. You work out to failure with each exercise. So you exhaust the muscle at each exercise. You must do that. And you minimize the rest between exercises to get the maximum cardio benefit and to keep your heart rate up. And you're gonna repeat the circuit twice in 30 minutes. So when it comes to resistance, you want the maximum resistance that you can handle that will allow you to do about 10 repetitions. If you can do 11, 12, 13, then keep going, but increase the resistance the next time so that you struggle to get nine. The day you can do 11, you repeat this and you increase the resistance again. So it's not that you perform 10 repetitions, it's that you can perform no more than 10 repetitions. You must work to exhaust the muscle that you're moving at that minute in time. And when it comes to rate, you want to move quickly between exercises, taking minimal rest in order to keep your heart rate up and to get cardiovascularly fit as well. We'll take you through the program, but you must take the lead and be aware. Really try to learn what you're doing, what each exercise is responsible for, what each muscle you're working with each exercise, how to work to failure, what kind of pace you should be working at and come to us to make sure that you're performing the exercises correctly, safely, that you're working at the right level of resistance to get a result, that you're working at the right pace. But you're in the lead.
The first exercise is the chest press. Anytime you contract your chest muscles, it allows you to push your arms out and away from your body. That's how this exercise works and you'll perform it on the chest press machine. But you can also perform this exercise lying down on a bench and pushing a weight away from your body, whether it be a barbell or a dumbbell, or by performing push-ups against gravity. We will show you different ways of performing each one of these exercises to allow you to understand when you see people performing different exercises in the gym that you know what muscles they're targeting. And also to show you that you can create variety in your workouts by simply changing the exercises that you include in your workout. We want you to become independent exercisers and to get to a point where you're creating your own programs and that's why we will show you alternatives for all these exercises. We've put all these exercises up as video tutorials, over 60 of them on our website for you to download and access. And We're here as fitness instructors to show you how to perform each and every single one of those exercises if you decide to include any of them in your own workout program. The second exercise is the bicep curl. Bicep is attached to your upper arm and lower arm and when you contract it, it brings your arm up. We perform this exercise against resistance to tone the bicep. You can also do this with resistance bands or dumbbells standing or seated. Exercise three is the leg press. By pushing a weight away from your body, you exercise your glutes and your quadriceps. You can perform the same movement using the squat exercise or through step ups or lunges. Exercise number four focuses on the front of your shoulders or your deltoid muscles. As you contract them, they push your arms forward. You're gonna do this against resistance on the shoulder press machine. You can also perform this exercise with dumbbells seated, with resistance bands, or you can combine it with the squat for additional challenge. Exercise number five targets your abdominals or your stomach muscles. You can perform this exercise using the ab roller, the stomach crunch. You can also perform crunches using a Swiss ball or on the floor. We can target the lower abdominal muscles using knee raises against a bench or a knee raise machine. Exercise six then is for your back. When you squeeze the muscles of your back, it pulls your arm backwards. A wide grip exercise like this targets the rhomboid muscles underneath the shoulder blades. You can target the same muscles performing pull-ups or rows or bent over rows using a barbell, again with a wide grip. If you want to target the muscles at the side of your back, the lats, then perform the same exercises with a close grip. Exercise seven is a leg extension targeting the quadriceps. Exercise number eight is for the bingo wings or triceps. They're the antagonistic muscle to the bicep. As you straighten your arms, you work your triceps. So to straighten your arms against resistance, will tone the tricep. You can do this using the cable machine or using dumbbells or barbells or with dip exercises. And there are video tutorials of all these exercises on My Simply Fitness. Exercise number nine targets the side of your shoulders or the side deltoids. They allow you to bring your arms up either side and we perform this exercise again with resistance. You can do the same with resistant bands or by leaning forward and pulling your arms back behind yourself, you can target the rear deltoids or shoulder muscles. The last exercise in tent tone is the leg curl. It targets the hamstrings at the back of your legs. You can also target your hamstrings when you step down into a squat or a lunge. Let's talk about the induction. The induction can be limited because you're trying to get your head around the gym, where are the lockers, where are the toilets, let alone what are these new exercises. Within a couple of weeks, you're gonna be better at performing each of the exercises and you'll be stronger. And the resistance that we've given you at the start may not be challenging enough. So you have to increase the resistance and always work to failure, to exhaust those muscles if you're gonna get a result. So as a rule of thumb, as soon as you can perform the target number of repetitions, increase the weight. So you should never be able to get that 10th rep. You certainly shouldn't be able to perform 11 repetitions. If you can, then do it because you've got to work to failure. But remember, the next time, increase the resistance level. If you have any question about whether you're performing an exercise safely or effectively in this way, please ask us anytime. So we'll take you through every exercise. You're in the driving seat. We want you to actively learn. So we make you do the exercises. We make you work to failure on a couple of the exercises. We demonstrate the pace at which you should be working. It's up to you in the end to come down and put the effort in thereafter. It's up to you to watch these videos to learn. But if you do so, then a little bit of learning is going to save you a lot of perspiration and will get you to your result very quickly. Remember, you can hire a personal trainer and we have two of the best in the gym, or you can learn for yourself and perform the exercises on your own. But it will only work if you perform the right level of resistance to failure and at the right rate. Resistance, repetition and rate. And we want to get you to the point where you know enough to start creating your own programs. 
because the tent tone is just a structure of 10 exercises. By creating your own workouts to target the areas that you're interested in targeting, you'll be more motivated, you'll put more effort in. And we've uploaded 60 different exercise video tutorials for you to begin to teach yourself new exercises so that you can start creating your own programs. There are blank program cards. We've even put up printed versions of all these exercises that you can download on My Simply Fitness. The rest, believe it or not, is about resting. A lot of people have a hard time with this. They think that they need to work out for two hours at a time. You don't. You need to work out for 30 minutes, but 30 minutes of intense exercise. Then you go home and let your body repair itself. It will be burning more calories when you leave the gym after a resistance workout. It will burn nothing if you've come off a treadmill. If you're performing your tent tone circuit properly, the right level of resistance, at the right pace, and you will be working your muscles. And then when you leave the gym, your body's gonna repair those muscles and you're gonna tone up and burn more calories and turn your body into a calorie burning machine. But also if you're working at the right rate, you will increase your cardiovascular fitness. So you do not need to go for a run for an hour afterwards. Rest is vital. If you then go on to run for an hour, you're gonna defeat the purpose because you haven't given your body a chance to rest and repair those muscles. You need to leave the gym, you need to go off and relax. And you're in the driving seat, so take control. Download the materials, watch these videos, really think about your induction, Come and ask us if you have any questions about whether you're performing the exercises properly, safely, whether the resistance is correct, and make the most out of us. Through these videos and through this material, we're trying to teach you so that you have the right questions to ask so that you can make more of us. And that's our difference compared to other gyms. So your next steps. Get familiar with the Simply Slim program. Study the materials, watch the videos, download the tools. Set your inspirational and smart goal. Ask one of us to measure your stats, tell you where you are now, and we can help you decide where you want to be and define your goal for you. Identify the lifestyle changes that you need to make and that you can make and get set up in your tent tone exercise program and start working and then keep dipping into these videos and tools as a reference to keep you motivated and to allow you to become an independent exerciser because we want you to get to the point where you're creating your own programs and we're here to help you.